Of all the songs you have written, is there any one song that, in your opinion, is the closest to perfection and the dearest at heart? Chris. <laughs> I always get the difficult ones. I don't know. Silence is golden, no? <laughs> I think it's very difficult to pick one, to pick one song. Um, we used to say being boring was... Um, but there are other songs I don't know I like as I like as I think actually this song Love Etc which is a single from this album is I think really almost perfect pop song um, every night when we sing it on stage it takes me by surprise because it's got such an unusual structure I was sort of think what's the next bit oh yeah um, <laughs> and I think it's a very interesting and clever and sweet song my final question has the digital boom over the last the last uh, 10 years, the last decade, affected the way in which you work? Because you are essentially an electronic outfit. So, obviously, must, the competition must have changed in the music business as well, and the way you perceive your music and the way you create it. I think it's made music, the technology has become easier. Whether that's made things better is, you know, open to discussion. There was something amazing about, like, craft work in the 70s, I mean, Kraftwerk's entire raison d'etre was making electronic music that was so complicated to make. Um, that was like what the music was, this yeah. very, very difficult scientific thing. And when, you know, in the 80s and the 90s and this decade, vintage synthesizers suddenly became plugins on an Apple Mac, mm -hmm. it sort of became easier. Um, but it's, it's at the same time, you know, it gives you an incredible palette of sounds to use. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just, I think like any time, it's just different. I don't know if it's better or worse. I think it's just different. Mm. Okay. Hi, uh, Owen, one of three FM, and hello. you're leader of your Israeli fan club. Oh, hello. Uh, you work with uh, many famous artists, Elton John, Madonna, Kylie, Dusty, Liza. I forgot something. Hey, somebody, David Bowie. Uh, how was it to work with them, and who's the next? If something on your mind, if any. Well, I mean, they're, they're all very different, and they're different experiences. Some of them we've, you know, we actually, um, we just remixed, like Madonna was a remix. We didn't have any discussion with her about it. We just did it. Um, Dusty Springfield was amazing because she was such a heroine of ours, you know, from when we were children, really. And she was... It's an amazing learning experience. I think what links them all is that we like people with star quality, um, who have a much greater star quality than we have. And there's something about star quality and also a sense of drama in the vocals that kind of fascinates us. Because again, I, it's not what my voice is like. So it's quite, always quite good to take a Pet Shop Boys track and have someone else sing it because it makes the song completely different. And conversely, when we do remixes for people like The Killers, <clears throat> um, to t make the backing track a bit more like us, but with their song. Again, it's an interesting thing to do. You learn from the song, and also you, you give the song much more electronic context. And, and also, again, we like to work with stars. Like Brandon Flowers, I think, has amazing star quality. What is your dream for your next contribution? We haven't um, got any along the way at the moment. Uh, um, but we, the next thing we're doing outside pop music is writing a ballet <clears throat> for Sadler's Wells Theatre in London, and it's going to it's going to tour in in Britain and possibly in Europe, and it's based on a story by Hans Christian Andersen, and it's a very very big project, and it's going to won't be till February two thousand and eleven. Thanks. Like you said, it, uh, it's been 20, 25 years, and uh, what do you think are the main reasons uh, for you two uh, surviving and sticking together and working together for such a long period? I think because it's, it's something that enthralls us, um, writing songs and making records, and also making shows. I mean, in the last, I don't know, 10 years or so, we've really got into making a show as well. Um, so that's why, really, we enjoy it. Um, Israel has beautiful historical uh, sites, 
but we also have in Tel Aviv a really great uh, gay scene. Are you planning maybe to go to some parties and uh, enjoy? I don't really go to many clubs anymore. Um, Why not? <laughs> well, we've got a show to do. <laughs> maybe after the show, I don't know. I don't attend the flyers though, next day. I, I can show you around if you want. Oh, can you? Okay. <laughs> 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 what is your? Uh, <laughs> She's trouble this one. <laughs> yeah. What is your favorite Petro Boys decade? When did you like it the most? Oh. What, 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 what's your answer? Favorite decade? Yeah. That'll be the next one. Yeah, you are creating excellent music for three decades. When did you enjoy yeah. it the most? I enjoyed this one. I enjoyed the '90s the least. I still enjoyed it, but I enjoyed. The 80s and this one. Thanks. Um, you scheduled for uh, tomorrow Kohav Nolad, Israeli Idol. Do you know the show? What do you think in general about reality shows? Or are you going to sing over there? <laughs> I don't quite know what we're doing on it. Are we doing Love Etc? We're doing Love Etc. Um, I don't know. Reality shows are TV. I think they're more about... TV entertainment than they are about music um, and they invited us to go on so why not I don't think they're of great musical significance I don't think we'd pass the auditions okay thank you very much that was the last question yes. thank you <laughs> was it? Was it? One, the last question the last question sorry oh, one more. no that was the last question Thank you very much. See you on Wednesday. Wednesday? Tuesday.